Good evening and welcome once again to Digital Look TV from Madrid. We have with us today Bill Hubert. He's Chief Economist at Markets.com. He's been hosting an FX seminar in the Spanish capital. Bill, thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time. Buenas tardes, Alejandro. <laughs> Buenas tardes, Bill. Okay. Um, above all, thank you very much for a little bit no, of your th time. Th thank you. And I just want to say it is such a pleasure. And, and, I, and I thoroughly enjoyed our monthly get-together when we were all back in London. So thank you very much for Digital Look. And, having the courtesy and probably the stupidity of inviting me for this interview this evening. Au contraire. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, just uh, three simple questions, really, uh, if, you, if you don't mind. Spain, on Friday, ratings agency Moody's raised the rating on the long-term debt of the Kingdom of Spain. Do you believe this or do you not? Yes, I do, okay? Let's go back to the rating agencies. They're usually four or five years behind or four or five years ahead. Now, let's go back, this goes back, and we were talking about this earlier, say five years ago, okay, when I was being interviewed by one of those other channels, and I was asked a question about Ireland. I said, at that time, Ireland is a legitimate country. I would have bought their bonds. The same thing with Spain and Italy, okay? These were situations where they got caught, quote, in the downdraft. The situation is, I would have bought them then, I would have bought them now. All the rating agencies are doing are reinforcing what the market has believed for the past three years. A legitimate move, an honest move, and a correct move. Okay. Let's move on to another periphery country in the Eurozone. Italy. Matteo Renzi. <laughs> uh, Prime Minister designate, supposedly. Everybody hopes he's the real thing for Italy, but there are some skeptics. They think he might be an opportunist. What is your opinion? Well, I think anything, and I guess from just what I've read in the papers, I mean, I don't know him, what is he, late 30s, I think, but I think he and we're all hoping that he is the next generation, okay? And I think you mentioned that, that, that he sort of has the stamp of approval of Berlusconi. Right or wrong, I mean, Berlusconi is the most legitimate, long-serving, politician we've had. If he has his feeling, which maybe then would have the backing, you know, uh, of, of, the, of the, Northern, the Northern League, this would be positive. And my feeling is, I am willing to give Italy any chance they're willing to take about trying to become legitimate, trying to get organized, and trying to be, quote, politically correct, if there's such a word. Fantastic. We wish them all the best. Yes. Another country which is having troubles, much more serious troubles, is Ukraine. Very difficult situation. The bonds have taken a very big hit. Time to get in? No, I would pass on that. Going back to your original question in reference to Spain, which the, the periphery was Ireland and Italy, these were, quote, legitimate countries. And remember, Italy has the third largest bond market after the U.S. and Germany. So Italy has always been a legitimate bond market, okay, and it's always been bought, okay, whether the, it was bought at 12, 13, 14 percent. The Ukraine, I think it's got, what were they, triple C minus. Uh, it's one of these things where I would look at Warren Buffett. He says, when everybody else is afraid, I buy. I would look to buy, let's say if, if the yield say is 27 percent now, I would be willing to give up the first seven or eight percent before I would feel that we were seeing legitimate buyers coming in, okay, at 20, 19, 18 percent. No, I, I would not even touch the Ukraine at this level because I think there are a number of situations. And again, going back to my first answer, Spain, Italy, Ireland have been issuing bonds for a long time. They got, quote, caught in the downdraft of Greece, okay? Now, there is no down, there's no Grecian downdraft which is affecting the Ukraine. So no, I would advise any investor, look at the bonds, but I would not make, I would even dip my toe in the bond. I would, I would pass on Ukraine, and as I say, if it starts to move, okay, so you missed the first 7% move, but I would, not, I would not touch the Ukraine at this time. I think there are some serious political questions that need to be asked, and it, it may be another year before those are asked. Therefore, I would avoid the bond, the Ukraine bonds. <clears throat> so, there you go. Unfortunately, Mr. Hubert has to catch a flight back to London. So, that's all, we, all the time that we have for today. But and all I can say is, muchas gracias, amigo! <laughs> muchas de nada. <laughs> so, thank you once again for joining us. That's all for today from Digital Log TV. Until next time.